Hey everybody, I have mixed up counterculture, medium viscosity, equal parts A and B. About six minutes, got about nine ounces or so. And um, I'm going to just pour a layer of about two ounces in each of these. These are five inch coasters and it's going to be a sparkling white and I'm going to let it cure for 24 hours and then paint a logo on it and then put a clear coat. So it's going to be really simple. I'm going to add Armor Art White Epoxy Pigment by Counterculture. I've got some white iridescent holographic glitter and then uh, Funshine Color Shop Etsy Store Sparkle White and maybe a bit of Angel Wings. And I have Frozen from Counterculture, which looks a lot like Sparkle White, so we'll just kind of see what happens with it. Gonna play with some resin on that one. So I'm gonna put aside a little bit of resin for that. I'm gonna go ahead and just mix that up right now. This is just some sap, uh, light blue Violet's resin. It's a pearlized pigment. I want it transparent, but the feel of blue. So that's not quite strong enough. I'm going to put, this is also uh, fun shine, it's cloud blue. I'm going to put a little bit of that mica into it. Got some angel wings and I've got some little uh, fun grip things. Just a new mold. These both are from counterculture. What I'll do is I'll just use it in there. So that will be for that. Okay, I'm going to put just a little resin on top of this. That's a um, water slide decal, which I've never used before. So I'm just wanting to put a top coat on that to see how this does. This is purely an experimental thing just to see if it works. The water slide is on um, transparent film and um, it's not very bright colored, so I wanted to try it out. So that'll be that. All right, so let me put this in the middle so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna put a squirt of Armor Art. I don't know how much that is, just some. I'm gonna start with it first, which will make my resin really pretty much white or at least transparent white which is fine it's always best to start less than you think it'll take for the amount of resin you're doing and then you can always add more if you need to and if you lift it up you can see the transparency or not and that helps you which it's not super transparent, so I may just leave it kind of like that. Um, I'm going to put a little alcohol ink in it. I don't know why, but I like to. It seems to work for me before. <laughs> so, white alcohol ink. It's just a few drops worth, so it's not anything major. This is going to be a pretty clean um, logo looking. It's going to be white with a black logo and a little red heart and then it's going to have chrome edges. So kind of very um, simple and streamlined for a male. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle in some of the litter. Not a ton, but you know, a quarter teaspoon or so. Let's put in some frozen, just out of curiosity. This stuff kind of flies around in the air. I'm going to move it off here just to get it out of the container. I'm going to put this little spoon worth about that much in first and stir it up and see what happens. That's a fine glitter. It's got some shimmer to it. I'm now going to add some angel wings from Funshine Color Shop. 
good amount of that. And it's about a quarter of a teaspoon. Okay, so that was Angel Wings. I'm going to skip the sparkle light. I think it's plenty shimmery. I think I'm going to add another squirt of Armor Art white. Do these on the side here real quick. I just wanted to show you the uh, pieces out of the mold. There's a couple of dog tags. This beautiful cloud blue, which has almost a color shift quality to it. Blue to hell gold or something like that. It's really gorgeous. for smaller dogs. Then I've got these two sets of earrings. This was a new mold from Counterculture. And then this is a little double one. You put uh, a little thing to link it and then you attach the back of the earring to there. So real soft and pretty. Lots of sparkle shimmer. And I had enough left over to do a faith pendant, which I will etch, I think, with white this time. So those pieces were with the leftover that I just added some blue to. So these have sat for a, a couple of days. And what I'm going to do is take a logo. I will transfer it on here and then paint it in.
been overnight and the logos were painted and put a top coat of resin on it. So it's just kind of a shimmery white. You can see through it just barely. And then top side is uh, just clear after the zodiac sign and it's a Leo and this is for a logo for a company. I had a few bubbles. I am going to sand some of the edges and then I'm going to put a chrome but I've got a little ridge I'm going to sand on here uh, just to get some of that off and then put a chrome edge. With acrylics on resin you're you pretty much kind of have to just layer it up. Um, so it took multiple layers to get the colors to kind of come through, but um, it just takes persistence and it's not perfection. It's not like printed out on something and mass produced. It's hand painted. So it's not, each one is not perfect and I embrace that. So I'll be back to put the chrome on after I've sanded them. I want to show you from the side too, you can see the first layer and then the second layer, how oh, it's clear there. And it'll take two coats of the crime because these are pretty thick coasters. So. 